Hi everyone, happy Tuesday. Hannah here from Preferred Physical Therapy where we help people age 40 and above stay active and independent, live free from painkillers and avoid surgery. So like I said, happy Tuesday, happy June. Welcome to another month. This week I'm gonna be talking to you guys about how your core weakness may or may not be affecting your low back pain. And I'm just gonna be showing you guys two easy exercises that you can do using a therapy ball here. You need little to no space in your living room like I'm gonna be showing you here. So don't worry about having or needing to have too much space. And these are really to help kind of strengthen up and stabilize your core a little bit to hopefully help take off some compression or pressure that you may be feeling in your low back. All right, so this first exercise is gonna be working on the drawings and then adding in an alternating march with your legs. So you're gonna be sitting on the therapy ball here and you wanna make sure that you are doing that drawing, tightening up your stomach, like you're trying to draw that belly button in towards your spine. Not like you're holding your breath, but that you're engaging your core. You wanna make sure that your pelvis is tucked underneath you. Don't let your low back sink in and kind of roll the ball backwards. So you wanna hold in the whole time. And if you wanna make it challenging for yourself, try not to place your hands on the ball, but I'm just gonna be placing it here, not putting any pressure through the ball, but just using it for stability. And as I hold that jaw in and that pelvic tilt the whole time, I'm just gonna be slowly raising up my leg, holding for about one to two seconds, and alternating side to side. Good, and you'll wanna try that maybe about 10 marches on each leg before taking a break. And I'm gonna show you a quick side view too. So here, just to make sure that you're engaging that core properly, you may find that you're starting off here or that you're kind of rolling the ball in underneath you. You wanna stay up nice and tall and it's just a little tilt right there. You see how the ball didn't move? It's just a little tilt to engage that core. And then you're gonna go into the marches, not rocking forward or backwards or side to side, just controlling the motion with the march. All right, this next exercise is going to be a modified windshield wiper using the ball. So you're gonna start off on the ground making sure that you're on a soft enough surface for your back that it's not going to be too uncomfortable. And your heels and your ankles are just going to be placed on top of the ball. You're going to be resting down on the ground with your arms kind of spread out from your, your shoulders there. And what you're going to work on is engaging that core, flattening out your back onto the ground. And then you're just going to lightly rotate towards the side kind of engaging those obliques the whole time, squeezing them as you bring the ball back up, and then roll over to the other side. You wanna to go to about a 45 degree angle, and as you build up your core strength a little bit more, you go further down, but just make sure that if you go too far, you're gonna to start to notice your body rolling, that shoulder coming off the ground. So you wanna keep flat the whole time, try and keep your hands relaxed, don't put too much pressure through them, and again, Maybe do about 10 rolls to each side, engaging those obliques the whole time as you squeeze and try and bring your legs back up to a neutral position. Go ahead and give that a try and maybe just do about two or three sets of those. But again, just listening to your body. I hope you guys found that video to be helpful. I would suggest if this is your first time starting off with any sort of core exercise, start easy. Maybe not do the full sets and reps like I was saying in the video, but just make sure that you are listening to your body. If you're going through the exercises and you start to feel any sort of pressure, compression, pain creeping up in the low back, I would suggest pausing, taking a couple second break, and then as soon as you get back into the exercise, make sure that you are properly and actively engaged in that core, making sure that your low back is flat against the bed, floor, whatever surface you're laying on, just so that you're taking off some of that compression and truly engaging that core. So if you guys like this video, uh, go ahead and give it a like, comment. You can also share if you found it to be helpful for any friends or family. Um, you can also head over to our website if you have any other questions or concerns, different ways to contact us. There's also more videos, more blogs, and just more information about what we're about. All right, have a great rest of your day.